Well, obviously the two first rounders we had didn't really uh, work out the way we had planned recently, but it's not it's not a factor. We uh, we'll put the list together uh, after coming back from the under 18s. We'll have our meetings and you know wherever they shake down, we'll we'll go from there. It is a factor if there's problems. If there's no problems, then it's not a factor. And I think all the teams near the top are going to do their homework and they're going to find out uh, as much as they can on these kids and. Uh, you know, at this point, I don't see any issues from our understanding, the interviews we've done, so on and so forth. You know, these kids are both over here playing, uh, which tells you something in and of itself, and they all want to play in the best league in the world, so. Are there, you know, are there whispers behind the scenes, though, Dave, about, about the Russians? And, of course, we mentioned the example would be the Radulov situation. With yeah. Uh, no, no, not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's always going to be there. Uh, but, again... You know, I think these kids by playing over here are telling us what they want to do with their career and, you know, provided things go well for them, I, I don't see any reason why they would, why they would actually, uh, you know, even make threats or anything. You know, it's all, but again, it's always going to be there, so you got to do your homework and make sure that their intentions are, are, uh, are good. I think there has to be, John, the, and, and this year it's, there's a little bit of a twist to it. With the pending CBA uh, situation that could arise, like I'll give you an example, Nail Yakupov, the odds-on favorite number one overall pick, he's already come out and said that he's not going back to Sarnia. So he's basically telling whatever NH whichever NHL team takes him, he has to play there. Do you think he's not going to go back to the KHL or be drawn back to the KHL? It's an issue. Uh, you see Radulev coming the other way, and I think the league would like to think that things are okay with that, but it, it's, a, it's a real issue. Uh, you look at teams like Columbus that have gone through Nikita uh, Filatov and Zhurdev. There's been a turbulent uh, relationship with Russian players, so I think it is a factor, and I think teams that say that it's not are posturing for the draft, which happens, as you know.